You're with Ray, the chosen warrior Trujillo, fighting out of True Bloodline MMA and Fitness. I made my pro debut in 2009, but prior to that, I had a little amateur uh, career. But you know, it was it, it was my peers and my and my dad that influenced me. Um, I was already a you know a rascal out on the streets, and uh, I just channeled it, in, uh, channeled my energy in with the gym and mixed martial arts. So and, and you know, realized I can get paid, and uh, that's when everything changed. Uh, I, I fight 365. You know, I, I, use, uh, I usually average, you know, seven to nine fights a year. This year has been it's been a little slower for me lately. Harder to get fights, but um, I stay pretty active and uh, I, I don't take time off. You know, uh, pretty much my whole career I've been always training and preparing for fights and competition. Uh, True Bloodline uh, came to me around 2009. I, I feel like it was a you know a sign from above, up above, because you know what True Bloodline stands for. It stands for the truest bloodline is Jesus Christ. You know um, Adam and Eve, they were a true bloodline. Uh, it kind of blew it. Christ came back and redeemed us, and He's the last true bloodline. The message I want to bring is that you know uh, I'm the champ, and to be the champ, you have to beat the champ, and um, I don't lay down. Uh, I bring it every time. I stay in tip-top shape. You know, um, over the course of my career, I've only uh, redefined my formula and uh, learned from my mistakes. So I'm the most lethal now than I ever was. I might be older in my career, but uh, you know, I still don't have gray hair, and I still feel like I'm 27. You know, I feel like my gifts come from above, and that's why I've been able to be so successful at being a uh, MMA fighter and a champion um, and, the, and having the resilience that I do. You know, I'm a 10-time champion and uh, I, I, continue, I continue with the quest. I'm not sure how much longer, but uh, it's still there right now, so there's some more fight in me. I've known Colin for a long time. We've been, uh, we've been acquaintances throughout this uh, MMA community for, forever, especially here in Texas. Uh, he's a tough kid. Uh, I know he's gonna bring it, and I'm sure he's uh, getting better and better, just like me, you know, but uh, I, I got a lot of experience when it comes to these title fights. You know, I've, I've had like 11 of them, and uh, I've won, you know, majority of them. And I usually go, you know, I, I've, I've gone 25 minutes like nine times already. So uh, I don't think he's ever gone, gone that deep before. But I don't plan on it going that deep, you know, uh, trying to get in and out. But I know he's going to bring it, and it's going to be an exciting fight. He's going to have a, a good turnout. I'm going to have a good turnout. Overall, it's going to be a great night for uh, Houston MMA. I'd like to thank uh, all my friends and family and uh, all my training partners and coaches and everyone that's ever, you know, that I've ever uh, interacted with uh, throughout my career. You know, uh, I've been all over the, you know, the United States, all over Texas. I've met a lot of people. I've had some ups and downs. I've been with some crappy promotions and some good promotions, but, you know, everyone that believed in me and that still believes in me, that's why I do it, you know. Uh, you know, I, I want people to know that uh, all their dreams can be accomplished and everything can, you know, the things they speak can come into existence when you put God first.